Have you ever said like it, call it, push it, work it, walk it, any of these like this before? If you have, then you're gonna love this video. I'm gonna be talking about how to pronounce these ED endings, what the three rules are, one simple trick to help you remember them, and then at the very end of the video I'm gonna give you a little teeny tiny test just to see how well you've done and if you remembered anything from this video. So let's start with that first rule. So if you take a look at these words, we have wanted, needed. Both of these words end in T-E-D or D-E-D. -E so if we have words that end in T-E-D or D-E-D, -E we pronounce them id at the end. Id. Id. Not ed or eeds, but id. It. Now take a look at these two words. We have liked and pushed. How do I know that they're liked and pushed and not liked and pushed? Well firstly, if we remember rule number one, we pronounce the id sound at the end of words with ted or ded and like and push do not have these spellings at the end when we add the ed. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated because in some YouTube videos that I've seen and in some lessons that I've observed with other teachers, they tend to give their students a super long list of sounds full of symbols that you guys probably don't know yet because you're gonna learn them one day, right? <laughs> it's, it's no good giving you all these sounds. So here's a really, really simple trick. Place your hand on your throat here, okay? You should be able to feel this part here of your throat. Place your hand there and say that final sound with me in the first word. Like. Now there's no vibration. Of course you're going to feel a little bit of vibration because it's, it's the air passing through, but compare it to a voiced sound. G, g, there you will feel vibration. So when I have a voiceless sound or unvoiced sound, we pronounce that final ed part as a t, t, because t is also voiceless. The same goes for the second word, push, shh, shh, no vibration. If you're not sure, you're not convinced, then compare it to its voiced partner, zh, zh. So I know for a fact that shh is voiceless or unvoiced. So pushed, pushed. Now we have these two words, called and removed. Now, if we think back to rule number one, I know it's not call it or remove it because we don't have T-E-D or D-E-D -E in the spelling. So that rules out the window. L is the sound which we have at the end of the first word and V is the sound that we have at the end of the second word. Both of these sounds are voiced. There's vibration. If you don't believe me, then try. L. So I have call, L, remove. V, v, there's vibration. So when we have these sounds with vibration, we call them voiced sounds. When we have a voiced sound at the end, and then we add the ed, we continue that vibration and we add a d sound at the end. So we say removed, called. Now if you're ever unsure as to whether a sound is voiced or unvoiced, you can do exactly the same as what I showed you in this video. So typically the sounds come in pairs. Let's take k and g. So k, there's just air, k, k, and g, g, there's vibration. The same with sh, sh, and zh, zh, and there's vibration. Of course, with some sounds, there's not going to be a voiceless or voiced partner, such as with l and r. I don't say h and <laughs> So that's pretty much it for this video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos to help you with your pronunciation and listening skills. So as promised at the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you a little test 
which I will show after I've finished talking. So in that little test, I'm going to give you a list of words and you need to write down in the comments below if those words have a id, ts, or d ending. Thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next week. See you soon.